How you doing? I'm Omo Tunde, Andrew Tabidi. I'm a cruiserway fan um, from Mayweather Promotions from Chicago, Illinois. Omo Tunde, Andrew Tabidi. Uh, means that your son has returned. Actually, my dad is Nigerian and my mom is just, you know, African American. So I'm a half Nigerian. I'm like in high school, I kind of had like a bully, you know what I'm saying? So, I, so you know, um, I, I, I had a couple fights and I, I ended up beating up the bully. So my, um, my stepdad got me into boxing. So that's how, that's how we got into it. And um, I just, when I'm, when I'm into something, I, I put my heart into it. So I saw I got real good real fast. Um, my first memory in boxing is, um, I think it was the first time I came into a gym. I was, I was nervous. Um, you know, my stepdad got me into um, boxing. I was very nervous soon I came in the ring. I, I mean, like in the, in the gym. I seen people working hard. I was like, oh, I, I, ain't, never, I ain't never really fought. You know what I'm saying? So um, that, that, was, that was the first thing. Then um, the, I think my first tournament, I won, um, I, I won. I won the tournament. I, was, I fought 201 plus. So that was pretty cool. I was like 16, 17 at the time when I first won. I started playing football when I was like 11. That's, that's the first thing, that's the first um, sport I played. Um, I, was, I was a chubby kid, but I was always athletic. I ran fast. I, I, ran, I ran more fast than the guys that was, that was you know, the wide receivers, you know, but, but, the, but the coach, the coaches didn't give me the, you know, the chance that I deserved, you know. So, so you know, football, I didn't really, never got the spotlight that I deserved because, you know, I didn't look like I was that you know a good football player but I, I deep down was everybody knew but I just didn't get the opportunity so you know I appreciate boxing you know um, and my manager Dewan Blake he gave me the opportunity that I, that I need and get, you know to give me the spotlight and show my talent. I came from Chicago um, basically I had, a, I had a hard childhood um, I was moving state to state I stayed in Chicago California Indiana just moving back and forth because I had a hard childhood you know um, but I started boxing out here in um, Vegas and Probably boxing about 10 years now. Um, I used to just come to um, Mayweather's gym just to spar. Just to spar and get experience. And, you know, I met, I met um, Dewan. That's my manager. And, um, you know, he gave me an opportunity. He seen the talent in me, and I appreciate it. And that's how I got into uh, Mayweather Promotions. My name is Dewan Blake. I'm currently camp coordinator of Mayweather Promotions. Uh, I extended my services a little bit by going out, uh, getting a group of, or a stable of fighters to be able to take my management company to the next level. My relationship started with Andrew Tabidi by just noticing him around the Mayweather Boxing Club. You know, it's just some of those fighters that just has a tendency of sticking out more than others. You know, it's just not his fighting skills that make him who he is. It's just him, his personality as well that he carries throughout the gym that, you know, will make you say, hey, this kid put in his work. And also, when he speaks to you, he delivers himself in a productive manner. So, um. You know, really his personality called me before his fighting skills, and the fighting skills came after the personality. You know, being with Mayweather Promotions is a blessing. Um, they, they gave me the good opportunity, and, um, you know, I just appreciate, it for, uh, appreciate, appreciate them for this. And, um, you know, it, it means a lot. You know, um, it, basically, it basically turned me into a man, and that's, that's the main thing. Um, and now I'm, now I'm getting a lot of respect for what I'm doing now, and that's the main thing in life is respect. The character plays a major part in the role of anyone that you may meet just in everyday life. Um, you know, as far as when you want to conduct business with a person or you're trying to establish something, you will want to have great character as well as just their skills because you can have someone with the most amazing skills but at the end of the day be a, considered an asshole or they don't have a work relationship that you will want to have with a person you're conducting business with. So at the same time, character plays a major part in anyone you may meet. Um, what I love most about boxing is, you know, just the competitive of the sport. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very hard sport. I love working hard. Um, just the drive people have in the sport and, you know, just the dedication and just the love of it. It's just the, the love, you know, it's, it's real cool. The development of Andrew Tabidi as a fighter and as a man, um, as a fighter, I felt that why not put him with one of the best trainers in the world to develop him as an elite fighter. So, um, you know, I had Floyd Sr. sit back, look at him, and check him out just to see if he would be something that would interest him as far as having a working relationship or building him to be the next world champion. And, you know, he gave me the okay. He said, you know, I think this kid has some great potentials. Let's give him a shot and let's see where we could take it to. And as far as building him, as seeing him grow as a man, you know, you put people in different positions to be able to 
put themselves in a position to where they conduct themselves as a man. So for an example, we may say, well, you have to be here at a certain time, or you have to do this, or we may have this interview set up for you. You know, as a man, you must be there on time and conduct your business on time in a professional manner to be able to succeed in life. My goal as a prize fighter is, you know, I'm trying to start off as, um, as a cruiserweight, but one day I'm trying to go and win the heavyweight title. You know, and that's just my goals. That's something Levanna, Levanna did, you know. So basically, my, my goal is basically one day being a heavyweight champion. That's, that's my main dream. My expectations for Andrew Tabidi is to be um, not just, as we may say, successful in the ring, but successful outside of boxing too as well, because there's a lot of fighters out here that's great inside the ring, but on the outside of the ring, they may not be to their wit. So, you know, I just want him to be, be able to just um, be successful in and outside of the ring at the end of the day. Learn on the job, you know, he's around one of the biggest fighters um, around at, during our era, TBE, Floyd Mayweather Jr. And um, we just hope that he watches at the same time how he conducts his business too as well. You know, you just, the blueprint is there for you to see it. So being at the blueprint is there in front of you and, and you see it every day, I hope you'll be able to soak it up. Yeah, I like to just spend time with my family that I stay with, um, you know, like talk to my mom on the phone and, you know, you know uh, keep up, keep bases with her. You know, I just, I, I, I like to relax and just keep my mind, you know, on positive things and, you know, live, live life. I really like horror movies. Um, I could say like, you know, The Candyman. Um, that movie always scared me since I was little. You know, paranormal activity, like stuff like that. Um, you know, something that kind of spook up on you. That's those movies I like. So you're a strange dude, Andrew. <laughs> um, Box fans want to see me fight because I, I show heart. Um, I show skill, speed, you know, uh, uh, just basically a complete fighter. So, Andrew, let's show the folks what you do best as a fighter. You ready? Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> One of the things I've noticed in studying some film of you, what little film there is, because most of your guys sit down before fans in the audience have a chance to sit down, yeah. <laughs> is that you, you not only utilize the jab to the head, but you also use it, you, that may win yeah. jab to the body. Yeah. Give us a little demonstration of the Tabidi jab. And what you're trying, talk about what you're trying to do with it. So first, you know, so I just, you know, feign him up. Yep. Uh, hit him right there, with, you know, real jab. I, I, first, I just probably just miss, just, just blind him a little bit. So you keep them hands up. Then I just make sure that's, you know what I'm saying, make sure that hit. Talk about what that, what that jab to the body does in setting up the rest of your offense. Um, it, it throws them off, um, gets them a little, you know, hit them in the right spot, gets them a little tired, a little winded. But um, it basically messes them up a little bit in the mind. And, and variations of the jab, you know, double jab, triple jab. Again, I saw in a couple of your fights that you not just, you don't just jab one time. You'll you'll double and, and yeah. triple the thing. Give us a little illustration of that and what you're trying to do. Uh, well, now, um, you know, I just you know jab them just just to keep them off me. You know, keep keep my range and you know measure my shot. You come with the right hand. That's you come with the big shot. What are you trying to work on to improve yourself as a fighter? Um, you know, just, you know, defense. That's the main thing, just um, not being ready to get hit. Well, you're in a pretty damn good camp. Yeah. In a so. pretty good place to work on defense. What, what better promotional company, what better fighter, what better camp than Mayweather uh, to work on that? Talk about your defense and what you're trying to work on. Um, basically not being um, able to get hit. I'm moving my head and um, blocking shots. Well, let's let's, let's demonstrate that. So I'll flick out the jab a little bit. Catch you the jab oh. from the right hand. Cool. And you're ready to counter. Yeah, I'm ready to counter. Yeah. Move what? out the way. When I, when, I, uh, when you when I, when I pick the jab, then hit, come back. Boom. Hand. Boom. Then when you throw the when you throw the right hand, I just roll. Bam. Come back. If there's a coup de gras for Andrew Tabidi, it's the <laughs> right hand. Yeah. Talk about before we get to the right hand itself. Talk about how you set up uh -huh. that right hand. Um, it just, you know, it just come out natural. I call them the twins. The fast jab, and right hand, you know, and uh, that, that, you know, it, it just, it just get them guys out of there. I've been doing this since the amateurs, stopping guys with the right hand. So. Yeah, we talk about in boxing a one-two. That's something as a young fighter, you really have that that one-two. Give us a little illustration of it. I'm coming in, and you're setting up the one-two. Yeah. Good move. 
And I call this thing here, you know, the, in, the, in the squared circle, uh -huh. utilizing the entire ring. When you're in here in a fight, uh -huh. what are you trying to do to control the landscape? Um, you know, I, I, I like to, you know, walk the opponent down. But if I have to, you know, if it's the other way, I, I can be at the box, and, you know, move my legs and, you know, get out the way. So walk me down, because I move, baby. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. You done? <laughs> Behind that jab, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, good. Walking me down. <laughs> so why should boxing fans be excited to tune in and watch Andrew Tabidi? Because I'm, uh, I think I'm a very entertaining fighter. Uh, I'm gonna show speed, I'm gonna show hard fight. You know, um, that's what boxing fans wanna see. Don't wait to for Andrew to be a world champion or somewhat on his way to be a world champion to hop on the bandwagon. If you want to be a rider now, ride now when he's 6 and 0, 6 knockouts and be able to say I've been watching him from the beginning of his career until what he may become a world champion. I'm Andrew Tabini and I want to be the next in this corner champion. <laughs>